Have you ever wondered what the top 10 places to visit in Portugal are? Portugal, a treasure trove of rich history, is more than just a dot on the map. It's a kaleidoscope of diverse cultures, where every corner whispers tales of the past. Its breathtaking landscapes, stretching from sun-kissed beaches to rolling vineyards, are an open invitation to the wanderlust in all of us. Join us as we count down the top 10 must-see places in Portugal. Starting at number 10, we have the Douro Valley. Nestled in northern Portugal, this enchanting region is renowned for its breathtaking landscapes. Imagine a tapestry woven with undulating hills, draped in rows upon rows of vineyards, their leaves tinged with the hues of the seasons. At the heart of the Douro Valley is the majestic Douro River, a serpentine waterway that carves its way through the valley. It's more than just a river, it's the lifeblood of the region, nurturing the fertile soils that give birth to some of the world's finest wines. Speaking of wines, the Douro Valley is a paradise for wine aficionados. It's the birthplace of the famed port wine, a rich and sweet elixir that's as much a part of the region's identity as the river itself. But it's not just about the wine. The valley's natural beauty is a siren song for nature lovers, offering a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. The Douro Valley is a haven for wine lovers and nature enthusiasts. At number 9, the historical city of Evora awaits. Nestled in Portugal's Alentejo region, Evora is a treasure trove of well-preserved architectural wonders that whisper tales from the past. Imagine stepping back in time as you explore the Roman temple, an iconic symbol of the Roman influence on this city. With its 14 Corinthian columns standing tall, this ancient temple is an awe-inspiring sight to behold. Just a stone's throw away, Evora Cathedral, the largest medieval cathedral in Portugal, looms majestically over the city. Its grandeur captures the essence of the Middle Ages, boasting a blend of Romanesque and Gothic architectural styles. Then, there's the Chapel of Bones, a chilling yet fascinating sight. Lined with the bones and skulls of over 5,000 monks, this chapel serves as a stark reminder of the transience of human life. Evora is a must-visit for anyone interested in history and architecture. This city truly is a living museum where every corner has a story to tell. Coming in at number 8 is the enchanting town of Sintra. A gem nestled amidst the Sintra Mountains, this town is a kaleidoscope of cultural experiences. At the heart of Sintra stands the Peña Palace, a romanticist castle that seems to have sprung straight out of a storybook. Its vividly painted terraces and decorative battlements are a testament to the imagination that went into its creation. Not too far off, the Moorish castle whispers tales of an era long gone. This hilltop fortress, with its sturdy walls and towers, offers a panoramic view of the surrounding landscape that is nothing short of breathtaking. As you wander down to the old town, you are welcomed by narrow, winding streets lined with traditional pastel-hued houses. Here, each cobblestone path leads to quaint cafes, charming boutiques, and hidden gems that add to the town's allure. Sintra is a destination that feels like stepping into a fairy tale. A truly enchanting experience awaits you in this magical Portuguese town. Number 7 on our list is the vibrant city of Porto. Porto, a captivating confluence of colorful culture and contemporary charisma, is a city that pulses with life at every corner. The heart of Porto, the Ribeira district, is a labyrinth of narrow cobbled streets, ancient houses, and quaint cafes that whisper tales of the city's rich history. Then, there's Livraria Lello, one of the world's most beautiful bookshops. With its stunning neo-Gothic architecture and breathtaking interior, it's a paradise for bibliophiles and a testament to the city's love for art and literature. But, what's Porto without its famous port wine? The city's wine cellars, nestled along the Douro River, are a must-visit. Here, you can explore the centuries-old tradition of port winemaking, indulge in tastings and even take a bottle or two home. Porto is a city that perfectly blends tradition and modernity. This is a place where the past and the present live together in a beautiful, harmonious dance. At number 6, we have the serene Madeira Island. Nestled in the Atlantic Ocean, Madeira Island is a riot of color and fragrance, thanks to its exotic flowers that bloom year-round. 
The island's subtropical climate makes it a perfect home for rare species like the Madeira orchid and the bird of paradise. The scent of these blossoms fills the air, creating an intoxicating perfume that is as inviting as it is unique. And then, there are the Lavada Walks. These irrigation channels, originally built to carry water to the island's agricultural regions, now serve as walking paths for nature lovers. Each walk offers a different perspective of Madeira's stunning landscape, from lush green valleys to dramatic clifftop vistas. As the year draws to a close, Madeira Island lights up the night sky with one of the world's most spectacular New Year's fireworks displays. The entire island becomes a vibrant tableau of color and light, a fitting end to a year of discovery and adventure. Madeira Island is a paradise for those seeking tranquility and natural beauty. Number 5 on our countdown is the mesmerizing Lagos. Lagos, an Algarvean treasure, is a harmonious blend of natural beauty and vibrant culture. Picture this, stunning cliffs rising from the Azure Sea, providing a dramatic backdrop to golden sandy beaches that bask in the warm Portuguese sun. These aren't just any cliffs, they're sculpted by time and tied into a labyrinth of caves and grottos, each one a testament to nature's artistry. And when the sun sets, the city comes alive. Lagos boasts a lively nightlife, with music echoing through the cobbled streets from cozy bars and bustling clubs. It's a city that knows how to celebrate life, from the break of dawn till the stars take over the night sky. But Lagos is more than just its beaches and nightlife. It's a place where history whispers from the ancient walls, where every sunset paints a new masterpiece, where the rhythm of the sea becomes your own heartbeat. Lagos is a gem on the Algarve coast that offers something for everyone. Coming in at number four is the captivating town of Obidos. This gem, perched high on a hilltop, is encased within medieval walls that have stood the test of time. Walking along these walls, you'll feel as though you've stepped into a storybook, with every cobblestone underfoot whispering tales of ages past. The streets of Obidos are a delightful maze, filled with whitewashed houses adorned with vibrant flowers. Each corner you turn reveals another charming sight, from quaint boutiques to cozy cafes. And let's not forget the famous cherry liqueur, Ginjinha. Served in a chocolate cup, this sweet, potent concoction is a local tradition you won't want to miss. But Obidos isn't just about the past. It's a living, breathing testament to Portugal's rich history and enduring spirit. It's a town where every stone, every archway, every sip of cherry liqueur tells a story. Obidos is a place that transports you back in time. At number three, we find ourselves in the bustling city of Lisbon. A city that's pulsing with life and brimming with rich history. Let's start with the iconic trams, a charming nod to the city's past, these trams provide not just a means of transportation, but an unforgettable journey through Lisbon's scenic streets. Next, we set our sights on the majestic Belem Tower. Standing tall since the early 16th century, this UNESCO World Heritage Site is a testament to Portugal's age of discovery. Its intricate architectural details and panoramic views of the Tagus River are sure to leave you in awe. As day turns to night, Lisbon reveals its vibrant nightlife. From lively bars in Bairro Alto to sophisticated clubs in Cais do Sodre, the city radiates energy as the sun sets. Feast on traditional Portuguese tapas, sway to the rhythm of fado music, and let Lisbon's night scene charm you. Lisbon is a city that never sleeps and is full of surprises. Number two on our list is the majestic Algarve. This southernmost region of Portugal is a treasure trove of stunning coastlines with an endless array of golden beaches kissed by the shimmering Atlantic Ocean. The Algarve is a seaside haven, a place where the sun shines brighter, the sea is bluer, and life is lived at a leisurely pace. But it's not just for sunbathers. Adventure seekers can relish a variety of water sports, from surfing the waves to exploring beneath the surface with scuba diving. The Algarve's coast is also a playground for dolphins, making it a popular spot for boat tours. And let's not forget the food. The Algarve is a seafood lover's paradise. Freshly caught sardines, clams, and the famous cataplana stew are just a few of the delicacies that await you here. Indeed, the Algarve is more than just a destination. 
It's a sensory experience that combines sun, sea, and sand. Algarve is a destination that offers sun, sea, and sand. And finally, at number one, we have the jaw-dropping Azores. This archipelago, an autonomous region of Portugal, is nothing short of an Eden in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. The Azores are a vibrant tapestry of lush landscapes, flourishing with azaleas, hydrangeas, and wild ferns that will leave you spellbound. Yet the island's beauty does not end with their flora. Venture further and you'll find an array of volcanic lakes, their waters reflecting a myriad of hues from the sky above. Each lake is a unique spectacle of nature's grandeur, nestled within the verdant greenery. But the Azores' allure extends beyond its terrestrial wonders. The surrounding ocean teems with life, offering one of the world's best whale-watching opportunities. Here, you can witness the majestic dance of these gentle giants, an experience that will etch itself into your memory. The Azores are a true paradise on Earth and a must-visit on any Portugal trip.